Good morning, church. Thank you so much for joining me for another wonderful day through our journey through the book of Acts. Today, we're going to be in Acts 27. Paul's journey to Rome was frustrating. Transferring from ship to ship, he was hauled across international waters, chained as a prisoner at the mercy of poor decision makers. Although Paul warned the captain that pressing forward would be a disastrous outcome, the captain listened to other people's advice rather than Paul, and so he faced the consequences of a crash ship, the ship splintered into pieces. <laughs> if everyone on the ship had perished but Paul, he would have been a free man. Instead, Paul accepts his role as a prisoner and instructed everyone how to survive after the storm. Instead of um, bitterness, Paul saved everyone's life aboard the ship. How many of us can say we would respond the same way Paul does in Acts 27? Paul valued the salvation of others more than his own comfort. Do we value other salvation more than our own comfort? Is people more of a priority than our personal preference and comfort, even if it means giving up time, talent, and resources to see people come to know Jesus? Paul even did it in the midst of a storm. He was willing to say, hey, this is what Jesus wants us to do. This is how we're going to survive. And it was more about understanding, hey, these people don't know Jesus. I'm going to help them see the goodness of God, even if I lose my comfort in the midst of it. I pray this morning, God would give you an evangelist heart to reach out, to step out, and to say, God, don't let me get comfortable in this life because there's people who don't know you that you're going to use me to impact their life. Thanks for joining me. I pray today in Acts 27, you'll get an evangelist heart to reach out, to step out. There's people waiting to hear the gospel of Jesus through your mouth. Thanks for joining me this morning.